Okay, so we are in the hospital. Paisley is enjoying the time of her life at this moment in time. Um, another one. She's hooked up to a contraption. It's October 25th at what time is it? It is 4 44. <sighs> I have not slept yet. Oh yeah, I'm gonna breathe too. Oh, it feels so good. I started having contractions at midnight. I took her, to have a little nap. I had a little nap of poo. I have not slept. No. I said we're excited. I'm excited for it to be over. <laughs> I'm not excited for this. This hurts. Oh, this isn't too bad for me. Uh, what? I said this isn't too bad for me. I don't mind this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hungry. All I want to do is chew on ice. I'll get you some ice. Yeah, so this hospital room sucks compared to the one we were in. Dude, I know. I don't think that they keep us in here, though. Like, after baby's born, they bring us somewhere else. Okay, good, because this one's terrible. Yeah. Well, where would you sleep? That thing leans back. No, you don't sleep. They wouldn't do that. <laughs> like, that thing's straight no, up. No, they're just like. Back. They did it differently in Courtney, because, like, there's a labor and delivery room and they move you. And oh, like, so this is I'm just. I'm sleeping in this tiny little bed that wouldn't. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. This is just the delivery room and then. What did you say? You, you want to do this We're again? Not putting that on record. You don't want to do this again? She said she never wants to do this again. <laughs> I'm gonna have Wendy come and do it. Um, only because but this is tender here and I'd rather not torch it. Okay. Can I put the bed just a little more? Absolutely. Yeah. Do you want a pillow under your tailbone too? Yeah, like that. Sure. Tell me when. More? Good? And as soon as this IV is in, we'll, we'll give you a quick drink of fluid and then we'll cap it and you can uh, Do you want a pillow? Pardon? Do you want your pillow? Uh, yeah, sometimes a pillow like just under your tailbone is nice. So the monster's up and moving. We're sitting here, watching Friends. The midwife went to get her little tray. She's having a contract home. You okay? Set my world on fire. Yeah,
see how she's getting pinker from like the top down. And her hands are like Oh, I just want to love you. Just want to hold you. Just want to be right. with you till we grow old. You tell me you'll stay till you die. Just want to be with you till we grow old. You tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You said my world's on fire. I did it, you guys. I had another baby. I am so overjoyed. She is sitting right there, starting to wake up for a feed. But I thought I would update you guys um, since I haven't. Everything went great. It was so painful. I am not sure I ever want to do that again. But I'm so happy to have our beautiful baby girl here on earth with us. I cannot wait for Noah to meet her and I can't wait to see his reaction to her. We FaceTimed my mom because she's watching him and he had like a cute little smile on his face. Um, but I cannot wait to see his reaction. They're going to come bring him by in a little bit and I get to see my baby because I miss him so much. Cole is actually going to go home tonight because Noah's never really been away from both of us like that long and also our hospital room kind of sucks and there's nowhere for him to sleep except for a chair so this is heavy right now um so he's gonna go home tonight and just be there for noah and get some sleep because he needs it too um but yeah everything went well i'm not gonna say her name yet i'm gonna do a separate video for her name reveal and also I'll definitely do like um, an actual like labor and delivery story because I didn't, I don't want to just like talk your, uh, talk your ear off about everything. Sorry, I am exhausted. I went into labor at night and I hadn't slept so I have not slept. I slept for like 20 minutes earlier and that's all I've gotten so far but so worth it because look what we got out of it. She's so precious. I'll probably film a little bit tomorrow. We have to, I have to stay for 24 hours because I had complications with Noah. So they just want to keep an eye on me just in case anything happens. Hopefully not. Um, but yeah. So we will, I will be here tomorrow and Cole will be coming to, um, pick me up with baby girl. And then we'll bring her home, and I cannot wait for that because being in the hospital sucks so much. Yeah, so this is how shitty our room is. That's terrible. This is in our bed. We're not allowed to use it. it. And it's like a shared room. Actually, nobody's in here, thanks. At the moment. Look at the TVs. Yeah. But those are the TVs. High quality television right yeah, there. Yeah, high def. 40p. This is where Cole would have to sleep if he was staying here. In baby girl's bed. My bed's actually not terrible. Her bed's probably super comfortable. It's She's been talking about how comfortable it is. More comfortable than what I had to sleep on last time. But it's not more comfortable than the bed at home. Okay, I'll put her down. Okay. Scary. Do you need some help? No. You should. Oh my gosh, you're scared. You're so light. Oh, it's got your nose a little bit. See how red her cheek is? I do. Here. Oh, bundled up. Oh, bundled up. There you go, princess. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even comb.